Um, have you ever done the research on where the idea of calories comes from? It's crazy history, man. This is like untold history. So the idea of a calorie comes from the 1890s. There was a guy named Wilbur Atwater, and he took a bunch of foods and he burned them in a bomb calorimeter. And he looked to see how much heat they produce. Like a calorie is a heat measure, you know this. But humans are not a furnace. We are not one of these like coal burning engines in a cartoon, you know, like where the, some, you know, bad character is shoveling a bunch of coal into this engine and the train is going faster and faster off a cliff. Like we are not a coal burning engine. We are not a heat producing furnace. We are complex beings that derive energy from food based on electrons. But there's no way you can put an electron measure on a package of food. And so, you know, you think about how do we get food? Like if you're eating a banana, an orange, a steak, whatever, you are getting food from the stored carbohydrates and protein and fat in there from electrons that are in those molecules that your body pulls out of those molecules and moves into intermediate molecules, NADH, FADH2, through beta oxidation or glycolysis in the Krebs cycle, and then puts them in the electron transport chain. Like the production of heat is not how we run our body. It is the movement of electrons, but that's not what's on the label.